What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be the spoiler preview for A Haunting in Venice. This is directed by Kenneth Branagh, written by Michael Green. It is starring Branagh as well. Once again, returning to the role that he's been portraying in the past two entries in this, what now, a trilogy at this point. It stars Kyle Allen, Camille Cotton, Jamie Dorman, Tina Fey, Jude Hill, and several others. Again, written by Michael Green. It's the sequel to Death on the Nile. It is revolving around Hercule Pearl, who is now retired, and he must solve the murder of a guest at a seance he chose to attend after being convinced by a old friend, I would add. So, A Haunting in Venice is a sufficient murder mystery. I did find it underwhelming in a way, but still, I had a good time with it, and it's a sufficient murder mystery. It's just that for as talented as this cast is, something just seemed to be missing from the film. But regardless, it's a well-written murder mystery that kept me intrigued, even if the journey is a little predictable. Predictability is usually acceptable to me as long as it makes sense, and this one made enough sense for me not to knock it. While the characters are mostly forgettable, each of them get a chance to shine thanks to the formulaic nature of these movies and the star power that's bringing into life which at least aids in giving us an interesting suspect list and that's always better than a bunch of dull suspects because i need to at least be able to invest in these people and a haunting in venice make sure of that and make sure i did and i hope it's the same thing for you guys when you get to see it later this week tina fey was the show stiller for me hands down her role is rather ironic since she's playing an author I believe who was named Oliver. That's her last name. I can't remember the first name. This character is an old friend of Piro, and she just has the most captivating energy amongst the cast. I'd say my biggest issue with this film was during the final moments when we have our reveal, and it just seemed like the explanation was going on and on and on and on and on. So a slight pacing problem during the third act, but never a dull moment nonetheless. And the pacing, for the most part, is great i would say there are some effective jump scares and yes i'll admit you've seen most of these tactics before if you're a diehard horror fan who watches far more intense films than this there is one scare though that will completely catch you off guard because it doesn't pull any cheap tactics at all but joins the narrative at the most unexpected moment to catch you off guard it's not doing the formulaic things that are problematic i would say with a lot of these jump scare filled horror movies that you get in a lot more intensely horror driven projects Pirol is retired trying to live it up but is pulled back into his old habits by this later mystery a mystery that challenges his own lack of belief in the supernatural and rivals some other struggles within the character himself this one had a very claustrophobic atmosphere to it as well and it does a really great job at capturing the spooky season that it is set in Kenneth Branagh's direction is exceptional and he's successfully maintaining this eerie tone for nearly the entire runtime. Horror fans might not be completely on board with some of the writing decisions in the end, but I found them to be rational and acceptable for this series. All in all, I would have to say that I would give A Haunting in Venice a 7 out of 10. I had a good time with it. It is, again, well written. As much as I could argue that these characters are pretty flat, they are still propelled and saved by the compelling aspects of them the information you and, and the details you learn about the characters do make them rather interesting and intriguing and then when you have top-notch performances in the mix you at least again are giving me a suspect list that's worth investing in and worth jumping around in my head okay well which one of you did it you know because if i'm watching and i don't really care to try to figure it out as i'm watching then you've done a poor job at putting on a murder mystery what i didn't feel like that going into or coming out of a haunting in venice so i can appreciate that i hope all of you enjoy it when it releases later this week let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video